Welcome back, folks, to another episode of Farm Simulator 2022. Now, you're probably like, where are the pallets? Well, I will tell you. Uh, first of all, <laughs> this says there are way too many pallets. Uh, <laughs> and we had to kind of let them get stocked up a little bit. And if you look here, we got them all now. For, I think the last update added a pallet limit because I've had more pallets out than this before. And also, too, down the road, we're going to be doing that precision mod that did, just came out. That uh, It's like a free DLC mod from Giant Software with all the soil types and all that crazy stuff. And we'll be getting into that. But uh, that will be a little bit more down the road when we can afford... Uh, that type of stuff. So let's go ahead in here and start to sell. There we go. We are. Wow, we are starting to get actually a fair amount of money. Um, also, too, with that precision mod, the equipment that comes with it costs quite a bit. We don't can't afford that right now. So that's why we are not getting into it fully right now. There we go. Looks like. Boom, 64 grand, actually not bad. Now let's go run back to the farm quick and see if some more pallets started spawning. Yeah, they did. Okay, so we were definitely, definitely over our head here on pallets. So that being said, uh, I think I'm gonna grab, uh, which makes sense because we would never be wanting to uh, hold fruits anyway for a couple months to sell them as cool as that would be to make better profits we kind of have to sell them you know to be realistic you would never leave a case of strawberries here for a few days you know you would just get them out get them where they need to be and store them correctly we don't have storing capabilities so we need to sell them um, but anyway, guys, we have some really cool things to start off the episode with here today. So let me get that rolling, folks. Actually, we had even more pallets to do. I grabbed them up so we can keep up to them. Let's stop at our new maple shop here. Get them all sold. See how much they go for. 13000 That's actually not too shabby at all let's go up and get rid of the rest of these for five dollars probably let's hope this is more than five dollars in actuality it's probably not much though we'll see these are kind of the two cheaper things that come out of greenhouses wow actually looks like we're gonna get a few thousand out of it though maybe come on now golly I can't wait till we can actually make our own production places so that we can actually kind of, there we go, 4,000 that we can actually get into ourselves. So we're going to be doing a few things today. Let's get back to the farm now that I'm done playing with pallets and let's get started. We actually now have our monster set of cows. <laughs> And I'm saying monster set because these babies are only like, I think this one, let's see, age 29 months, two, wait, 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 where is it? Um, age of zero months. That's a big calf if I ever seen one before. So anyway, guys, we got that rolling. They are okay for one more month of straw. It does look like yet. Um, and one more month probably of hay we'll see though on that front um, but but we need to get into some more animals we got to get them going because they got to start breeding and as you can see here ooh, that is the one i think right off the bat um no there's just not enough room there in 9,000, it holds 360. That's a little crazy. Oh, 400 in that pen eventually. 100 and... Or 100 in that pen. Let's go with the little pen. I know it's a little bit more expensive. 
but it's something a little bit different. Let's see, where should this go, actually? I'm thinking, hmm, what side? That's the side we add the, the, okay, so let's do it this way, the way the pallets are out then. Uh, no whammies, no whammies, boom. Oh, that's cool, it actually like connected right up there. Oh, look at that, that's fancy. We got like zero landscaping to do. Uh, we do want to do some on this side. And maybe a little bit on this side. You know, that's actually probably good for this side. Let's quickly do this side, though. Let's do some painting. And we're going to do some... We'll do gravel to dirt. So we'll do... Uh, boom. Oh, gosh. We're going to have to go over that again. I just wanted to get rid of the grass on that line. And it looks like, yeah... You know, that doesn't look too bad, but... Hmm. Alright, let's do it right. Yep. Let's do... Boom, 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 boom. All the way to the corner. Alright, that looks perfect. We're good to go there. Now, I said... That we are not... Um... We're, we have to move our animals ourselves. Now, we got to pick up, right? we got to pick up. So we could do it that way. Uh, but, 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 there is actually a trailer right here for moving, uh, where are you? Animal transport. For moving horses and chickens, which means we can move everything if we have this trailer. We are absolutely going to be doing that. Uh, what color should we make this trailer, though? Uh, purple? Yeah, that looks pretty good. Let's do purple. And let's go ahead and pick it up. Oh, we don't, we, 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 we don't want no license plate. We'll fix that when we get up there. Uh, so let's go ahead and grab that from the shop. So we have our new chicken trailer here. <laughs> Never thought I'd ever see. We have our chicken trailer. Um, but let's go ahead. Let's unfold this. Let's see what this one looks like. Unfolding. Alright. So. Um, whoa. There's a bunch of different horses. Holy cow. We're, we're not getting into horses. And we're going to get our Adam and Eve chickens. Um, where is, let's buy another one here, and that's our Adam and Eve chickens, so don't judge me for buying a $16,000 trailer uh, to move $55 worth of chickens. <laughs> um, to be fair, uh, we'll probably need these for moving uh, stuff around in the pens later anyway. But this is pretty cool to have. Anywho, this is a neat looking trailer. And can you even... Here, let's zoom in. Can we even see... Uh, can we see our chickens in the back? Um, let's... Uh, come on. Uh, Alright, let's crouch now. <gasps> There's a chicken. He's spying on us. And again... Not moving, like he's on a, like he could be stable on a pirate ship. They're dang pirate animals. All right, so this one too, uh, we're gonna need for, uh, we're gonna have to put some feed in there for him right away, obviously. And let's go ahead and unload these in here. I really like this. Our farm is really starting to take. A really cool look now so let's go here uh, no not there that's not where you unload animals it's the paw print for chickens which is pretty cool you know that chickens have paws you would have thought they would have switched made a different one for that unload animal 
Uh, what do you mean it doesn't support it? There we go. Unload. Alright, what do you mean? Alright, we got to... I think go back maybe a little bit more. Maybe I have this wrong. There we go. I think so. I think we got it. All right? Let's look. We got your ducklings. All right. Pretty fancy. And we are really happy. Let's grab... Hmm. Okay, let's park this trailer over by our other animal mover, Dilly Diddly. And let's grab, um, yeah, let's actually go ahead and fill that up. Or let's grab this trailer with sorghum. Oop. Let's not wreck the two trailers. So we got that going right there. And... Oh, I'm right here. I won't even make a cut. Look how fancy this is. Behind the scenes, you guys. Alright, we're going to grab this. Oh, oh, and of course hit the wrong thing. Because the pickup box comes off a truck just that quick. Alright, so let's fill up with... Sorghum. Perfect. That's all the sorghum we have. Yep, and I know the crops are ready. I think we might hold off on that part till the next episode. We got some more pressing things, and I know we have even more to do. So, uh, uh, can we... Can we... Wait, what? Alright, are you being a pain in the butt? Wait, can we do change tip side? left um no food for them I guess let me figure this out alright I had to break the sides down just so that they would do it I had to switch a setting oh gosh that thing only holds that much oh wow okay we'll have to remember that we definitely have to keep an eye on chicken feed um, let's go put this back in the silo. And we are off to our next project. We have this whole entire field to do, and we really, really need to get into making uh, some grass bales. Otherwise, we're going to be up in a very bad spot here very soon if we don't. Um, we are down to our last six. So what I think I'm we're going to do here... Uh, we're going to do a little speedy up it for you guys on bailing. Alright? Uh, we've done... I want to get two in details with it because... Oh, I messed that up really bad. Because we've done a lot of bailing in the recent episodes. So we're just going to do a speedy up it for this one, folks.
We have all our grass bale be full in that uh, shed there. So we do have to sell these extra ones here. Uh, let's see, unload, unload here. And wow, we did get 7,000 for them. That's really not that bad. I'm uh, pretty happy with that actually. So on to our next diddly doodler. Dropped off the bell trailer. We're up here at the shop because we had talked about getting into a feeder wagon and I think we have just enough to possibly do that. So we have to go into animals here. It's 45 grand for that one. But I think there's some modded ones we could take a look at. Um, yeah, there's this one for 26. Hmm. To be honest with you, that's almost perfect because that means a Johnny Popper can run that. And I'm not seeing any others. Right? Uh, that one. That one is too fancy for us right now. That's the one we're going to get into eventually. Beefcake. Um, but for right now, we clearly can't get into that. And I figure with this little one, let's grab that little one. I figure what if we get this little one, we can actually, oh wait, there's different heights. We can really fit into other places. Let's go with that little tire there yeah i think that's gonna be good and let's go ahead change the lace plate to none and let's purchase all right this is gonna be the probably the interesting part here does it will it hook up to the pickup or do i gotta go grab a tractor <laughs> um one of the green the green fellas. Oh, we can bring her down good. So let's go ahead and oh, I can actually use the mixer with the pickup. Even without the PTO hooked up. Alright, so let's go back home and uh, let's get to using this thing. We have a Johnny Popper hooked up to the feeder wagon and on the top left, you can see what we need to put in this. We want it to be around in between the arrows is kind of the range we want and so we need a hay and silage i kind of have an idea what this is going to take there's straw and there is a mineral feed which if we look in here is right here but i don't believe oh where did i see that pallets right here um, mineral feed right there yeah and I don't believe we actually need the mineral feed to get to a hundred so let's go ahead and cut open the hay bale or silage bale uh, let's see 3500 silage all right this is gonna be real close on what we can do also the PTO on that feeder wagon does not actually hook up Correctly, even to the John Deere. So let's hope this guy works. Uh, let's go ahead and grab him. And let's go ahead and put him inside there. Now, in a second, I believe that bale will disappear. Uh, let's grab one hay bale quick. We actually don't have any straw right now. Yeah, see it disappeared, so it's definitely taking it in. So let's go ahead. You can see the number is going down there as it's getting fuller. Um, Alright, let's see what it says. Alright, so we're perfectly within our balance. Uh, if we could normally add straw to make more of it but it's at a hundred percent oh that's perfect actually so we won't be able to put straw in here actually but I mean our bales uh, 
So this thing with the 8,000 capacity is perfect. I, I didn't even know that. That's just a clinky dink. I didn't actually know know that this was going to be like a perfect fit for us. So let's go ahead and unfold the mixer wagon. How do we unfold it? Oh, there's steps. All right, so let's go ahead and we can start. All right, well, we're going to unload apparently from that side. Well, let's see if how much this actually does. Let's see what the cows are looking like. Uh, so now you see that TMR, the total mixed ration on that right hand side, that gives us 100% effectiveness. Hay only gives us 80. And we definitely are going to be able to do that. So I'm guessing I'm going to have to do a few more of these, actually. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Fill up a couple more and see where we're at here. We got a whole nother load ready, and the cows now have all their food completely full that we can give them right now. We may eventually run that hay all the way out of that building <clears throat> just to have it. And it looks like we're going to be able to get our straw through next month so we can start harvesting, folks. Anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this episode, and we'll see you next time, folks.